Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I think it's about time we do a little preview of Contagion VR Outbreak for PSVR and see what's happening with the game. Check out the latest information about PSVR port. We're gonna talk all about it before I start. If you like what you're seeing, please press a like because it does help the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And now let's talk about Contagion VR Outbreak. What's happening with it in January 2019? after much, much anticipation, one of the developers of the game, the lead developer, announced that the game will be coming to PlayStation VR. He also said that they're gonna add aim support. He said he don't know how they're gonna do it, but they're gonna do it, so it all was good and smooth. They even planned to have a demo released, which not gonna happen now, by the way, but there was a lot of plans. Sadly, about six months ago, maybe a bit more, the lead developer left the studio and for a while we didn't know what's happening with PlayStation VR port apart from the fact that it's a bit delayed. Such times, because I know a lot of you are very, very hyped for this game. But there is some good info about PSVR port I let you know in a minute. Just before I do, let me just tell you a bit what Contagion VR actually is for those who don't know. As you can see from the footage and probably work out anyway, this is a game which happening in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and in this game you will be relieving the stories of survivors in a single player campaign. The actions you'll be performing like changing your weapons and everything it's all done manually a bit like in killing for inclusion so you have to reach to your backpack move around you know change ammo and everything so it's gonna be very very immersive game there are gonna be a few missions in which you're gonna be different characters you'll be relieving their memories to see how what's going on what the fuck why, why what's happening regarding the aim support I know the lead developer before he left he said it's gonna happen but lately they put movement system for PlayStation VR and they only showed move controllers and how buttons are mapped and I think with so much interactivity and getting your hands so involved I don't know how they're gonna pull off aim support, it might not happen, but still might be good with moves. The latest info about PlayStation VR that they let us know in, at the end of March is that they've got PlayStation VR built ready and they're testing it, it's working on PlayStation VR with moves, so they managed to make a lot and a lot of progress, but of course they're still doing optimization and fixes and shit and hopefully they will be submitting it to Sony's QA very soon, so even though it's a bit delayed, the latest news are very promising. I do hope to see this game this year. It's out on Steam already as early access. It's not finished even on PC yet, I think. I think they're still doing that as well. But it's got mostly positive reviews. It stands around 7 out of 10 mark at the moment. Maybe they're gonna update it a bit more. It's gonna get better. There's gonna be some more missions still to be added. And to me, the news about PSVR port are definitely encouraging. And hopefully we see it soon. And that's it. Bye.